O most holy brothers and sisters of my heart, I paint a picture of the Africa that I envision, and I set it before you this day. Here upon this altar you may view the great possibility of cosmic achievement and of a new age of freedom and enlightenment for every man, woman, and child whose heart is upturned to the divine within and who seeks the truth within the brotherhood of the spirit of all life. There is a cosmic stream from the fount of the Holy Mother of all life, and I initiate a new spiral of cosmic activity within the base chakra of this continent, this day, through those who have chosen to uphold the light, such that through their hearts may flow this activity of consciousness, this presence of holy love and brotherhood unto all. If there can be the resolution of all conflict within peoples of all races and religious persuasions within South Africa, then there can be a greater momentum shown unto all brothers and sisters of all nations within this continent of what is possible. For you see the eradication of the policies of apartheid are only the beginning, blessed ones. Now there must come a greater determination to set forth those divine principles whereby not only freedom, but greater opportunity may be offered unto all to fulfill the inner mandate of the law of beingness through that light of seventh ray presence and joy. It is not only through the political system or economic opportunities that this light of truth and freedom may be known, nor only in institutions and policies themselves, but through greater conscious self-awareness of the soul and of the spirit of the God, man, and woman within each one that seeks to be born anew. When you revere life within all life, then God steps forth from within that life to bring the solution to all problems, all dilemmas, Blessed ones. The solution is often simple and not so mystical as some have set it forth to be, but in the return to the Holy Mother and her respect for life within, the new birth the renaissance that you seek may emerge and that mother is your own soul, you see. Therefore, first, nourish the light of your own soul and then you will have what it takes to understand the divine equation whereby that light reverenced and upheld, nurtured 
and sanctified. May provide the platform for the victory of every divine request. It begins here, it begins now within your heart. And for those who choose the higher walk and way of light, every day is an opportunity to transcend the lesser self and to be fully present within God's heart now. I am the spirit of brotherhood. I have accepted the divine equation of freedom and justice, of opportunity and liberty within the domain of my own point of reference of God. And I invite each and every one of you to be expressive of this same spirit of holy unity within the allness of the One. I am Afra. I extend my hand of brotherhood through you to all. And by the grace of the One, as many more receive the offering of your heart. Together, we will form a new circle of light, city by city, nation by nation, until there is the ringing forth of a new way of light, worlds without end. I thank you for your hearts of fire. Remain fiery and true to your mission to fulfill your reason for being. For this is what brings the great brooding mother a smile. Yes, look upon her eyes and see reflected your own soul ascending daily. I thank you.